Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JP, uh, TwoCoastCustoms.com, and I'm gonna let you guys in on my latest project here. Um, this project will be for Halloween. Uh, I don't know if it'll actually take that long to complete, but uh, uh, this is one that I would like to uh, compete with Halloween. So. Uh, what we have here is a sculpt and normally I let you guys in on my sculpts and stuff like that but let me tell you how this one went down okay I went to uh, well I went camping this weekend it's Memorial Day weekend so um, while everybody was swimming and stuff it was really hot and man I just wanted to kick back and relax I happened to bring my clay and I happened to bring my armature and I was like you know what I could chill out do a little sculpting and relax and uh, have some fun. So I figured I'd start on my Ninja Turtle, which is my next project. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, is a cartoon I grew up with um, and the movies I loved growing up with as well. So uh, I figured this year my build will be a Ninja Turtle. Now the way I plan attacking this build is obviously I'm sculpting the helmet. I will mold the, uh, the head part here. Uh, it'll be a uh, plaster mold so I can make my latex pulls and uh, the reason I'm doing them in latex is I'm going to try to make the mouth move and I need the flexibility of the rubber as opposed to resin that I normally use so that's how we'll be doing the helmet and the rest of the bodysuit will actually be uh, very similar to how I did my predator uh, in that I started with a spandex type suit and latex and layered up and built muscles and such um, there's a lot of stuff I learned last time that I didn't do that I think will make this one look a lot better. So I'm actually really excited to get started on this one because um, it should come out better than the Predator. Um, a couple techniques I've been watching other videos of people messing with foam uh, because I'm, I'm not real in the foam build uh, yet. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm more adapt to sculpting and uh, I found out a couple of things I was missing out on putting the actual bodysuit together to actually make it more lifelike. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, how we're going to attack the rest of the suit. Um, now, as far as body forms and stuff like that, I am probably going to get some plaster bandages and do, uh, like, uh, my calves and my, my hand up to my elbow. Uh, I do have some alginate, so I might do some life cast um, to be able to get a really good form-fitting costume. Um, so that's pretty much that's the uh, theory of how we're going to go about uh, making the Ninja Turtle. Um, but I'm going to bring you guys in the shop in just a bit. And I have a lot of the materials bought and ready to go already. And uh, I figured I'd, I'd walk you guys through them and the prices and stuff because I've been getting a butt ton of questions. Uh, prices and blah, blah, blah of different materials that I use and such. And I think this video will really help a lot of people out. And also, if you you might want to build a turtle with me, uh, I plan on blogging this every step of the way. Uh, I kind of jumped the gun with the sculpt, but you guys have seen lots of my time lapse videos and stuff, so you know that uh, you know how the sculpting process goes. It's just basically a head armature with clay built up, and I rock out with reference pictures. Um, so without sitting here and rambling. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, some close-ups of the head sculpt here. Now it's not done. Um, this is about eight hours of work yesterday, just kind of roughing it out. Um, I still got to add skin texture. Uh, I, I'm thinking I, I might actually change up the mouth a little bit and bring it up higher here. Uh, that way, when I have my mechanism in, I can go lower without keeping the mouth really wide like this. Uh, so there's a, a few changes I'm going to make. Um, haven't decided how far I'm gonna bring the, the mold down over the uh, the beginning of the chest here. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys some close-ups of it, and, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, this is clean clay, uh, what I've been sculpting with for pretty much all my sculpts. Um, They've discontinued making clean clay, so I'm about to switch to probably a Chavant or uh, 
Monster Makers because Monster Makers actually uh, sent me a sample of the clay. The, a high detailed wax plasticine clay that they use and uh, it's it's actually really quite nice I got a chance to play with that this weekend so uh, I might order a bulk of that I'm not I'm, I'm still up in the air about what I want to do but I want all my clay to match so uh, yeah that's where we're at so let's take a look okay now this head here actually took a lot of clay. Um, you're probably looking at at least 45 pounds of clay on here. Um, well, maybe not that much. Probably about 40 pounds of clay. And uh, the, the way I went about this one is just I started one spot at a time and built that spot and then worked the next. Um, I started a ridge across the armature to see how thick I wanted to get the clay and then I matched to that and then I built certain areas like the way I first started is I built a small snout and then I built the eyes that way I could line up the size of the cheeks with the size of the eyes and then uh, built the nose out and then built the lat this part of the mouth actually very very last um, I threw on the whole thing before I ever started the mouth. So it was actually probably about 30 minutes worth of work the mouth there. So it's very rough. Um, the eyes, uh, I don't really plan on keeping them. Um, I just wanted to put something in there so I could see kind of how it would look. Also these brows might get chopped down a little bit because I think they're a little big inside the mask. Um, Another thing is uh, the teeth and stuff. This will actually probably end up being cut out of the uh, the casting anyway because I'll be putting some plastic teeth in there that I can paint really nice, and they'll also hook to the uh, the machine inside of the mask that will actually move the uh, the teeth. Like the bottom teeth will actually move, and the top lip should come up. So, but these teeth should stay in place. So we'll we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm just diving into this right now, but uh, I went ahead, I sculpted the ridges of the mask uh, to give it shape, and of course whenever I have the casting, um, it will have the, uh, the bandana, um, either blue or red, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do Leonardo or Raphael, um, but that's, that's, uh, that's what's going on with the sculpt right now, here's some side views here. Uh, unfortunately, camping this weekend, the Wi-Fi wasn't that great, so I only had two reference images to go by, but I think I got pretty close. Um, the, the movie ones, the snout, might actually be a little bigger, and I think the cheeks are a little bigger, so I might actually add a little weight there, um, but I haven't decided yet. I know that I want to change the mouth, and uh, it's, it's pretty bumpy right now, so I don't need a lot of smoothing, and then... Uh, texturing of course to make this thing come to life but I just thought I'd give you guys a quick glimpse of the old turtle alright so let's go to the shop and see what's going on okay guys so here's the another part to uh, this recent update video the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle build um, I'll just go ahead and throw this in there. The, uh, the Yellow Ranger is molded, and uh, I actually have some supplies now. I can uh, I can cast her on up, so I will be having some castings of the Yellow Ranger made pretty soon. So anyway, that was off topic, but uh, back to our subject at hand. All right. So I told you guys that I'm going to use the bodysuit route, much like the Predator. Um, and these are the supplies that I've gone ahead and rounded up. Uh, now you can get these supplies cheaper at other places and you can use scrap materials. Uh, like this foam here is new foam but actually you could go to the thrift store if you want it. It's kind of nasty. But you can find old cushions, couches, stuff like that. You can buy it for really cheap and tear them apart. 
actually get a, a lot of foam out of there and that foam tends to be more dry and wore out um, it's actually easier to cut than the new stuff but it's funky old furniture foam and you probably don't want to mess with that um, but I have used that type stuff knowing the source of where it came from so just a little tip um, well let's go ahead and give you a rundown here this is some thin foam uh, this is a, a sheet uh, I'm not sure how big this sheet is, but it's available at Joanne Fabrics. Um, so I just bought an entire sheet of this. This is some thinner stuff because we will need thinner foam to make uh, using thinner areas and stuff that aren't bulked up as much, as well as uh, it's probably used on the shelf as well. Um, something I learned in my last build, uh, I needed to add a thin layer of something to cover up the. Uh, the joining between the muscles uh, to get a more lifelike skin look and uh, I figured uh, the way I'm going to try this is I'm going to layer up some really thin pantyhose. Uh, this stuff is really cheap. It's like a dollar fifty a pack, something like that at uh, Walmart. My wife picked it up for me because I'm not going to be buying a pantyhose. Okay. So, next on is a electric knife. Uh, I've learned from watching uh, people that build uh, mascot costumes and such. Uh, they use an uh, electric knife to shape the muscles and whatnot. Um, I have tried a hot knife on open cell phone and I really don't care for the way it works. So I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll do old school like my predator and just hack that sucker out. Um, it's like $13 at Walmart. I mean, that's so cheap. Got a pack of yarn here. Uh, this yarn will be on several parts of the turtle body. It'll be soaked in latex and smooth and used as veins uh, to get a 3D effect on the veins. So, so you're looking at like $2 here. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, tell you the price of this because I didn't look on this thing yet. Half inch foam. It doesn't tell me the length, but I, I think that sucker's about eight feet long. Uh, and it looks like uh, about two and three quarters feet wide. Uh, it's $24.98. Okay. And then uh, I have a bigger roll of foam here. It's a lot thicker. Um, it's actually two inch uh, HD foam. Um, this foam is a little more expensive. It is $77.48. This is nine yards. Uh, no, two and a half yards at ten dollars a yard, roughly. So seventy-seven forty-eight. What you're looking at there, and I do plan on this being enough foam for this costume, uh, knowing how much foam I used on the predator. It should be, should be swell. Um, whenever you're in the fabric stores, always check the junk fabric bins. Uh, main reason is because all the time, man, I'll pass them and I'll see something that looks like good pleather or something. You could always use pleather with uh, uh, your costumes and stuff. It seems to always come in handy. So uh, this chunk of brown pleather, which will work out uh, very good for the uh, the knee pads and stuff. Uh, this was two dollars and twenty three cents, and this is quite a quite a big chunk of it. Um, as far as the latex I'll be using, I'm using uh, Monster Makers Halloween white latex uh, um, uh, mask grade latex. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's good stuff. It's from Monster Makers. Uh, Monster Makers is affiliated with a place close to my house called CFX or Composite FX. Uh, there's some local guys who uh, do prop work and uh, they actually make the armatures that I sculpt on, so uh, I figure I throw a little money their way. Uh, pretty good company. Uh, but anyway, Monster Makers is affiliated with them, so starting to buy more Monster Maker stuff now. Uh, it's pretty quality. Um, this is the first latex I have I've had in a while that hasn't gone bad in my shop here. It has dehydrated a little bit, but I uh, whipped it back up and uh, just spread it out to see if it was still good and it was still good and I got this Halloween 
last year. So it's pretty good stuff. Um, you're looking at about 40 to 50 dollars for a gallon of latex. Um, one gallon of latex should be plenty enough. Uh, it was for the Predator. So, I mean, I still have a good bit in this one. I did order another gallon, though, just to be on the safe side. Um, anything I need to mold, I'll be using Smooth On uh, Dragon Skin. Um, I use Dragon Skin 10 Fast. It's the only Dragon Skin I use. I don't use any other variants of it. I don't use the, um, the prosthetic stuff like they use for makeup and whatnot. That's a different grade. Um, but this is what I use. It stretches. That's why I use it. It's a little more expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Uh, these kits are about $30. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of silicone molding with the, uh, the uh, turtle. Possibly the shell, but I, I haven't decided how I want to do that yet. So if you decide to get that, it's about $30. You know, it might come in handy for the fingers, nails, stuff like that. Um, Going on down the line here, uh, I just got this box in from Monster Makers actually, and um, to fill out the, the head uh, and make it sturdy, uh, this is a soft polyfoam Monster Maker cells, okay, I think it's also about $30 for a small kit like this, but this stuff works very well, I used it in the Predator head. And I was actually surprised that a thin layer swashed around there actually gave, it, it holds the whole head up. So it works really good. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, rotocast because it sets fast, but after you play, it, play with it for a little bit, um, it becomes much more workable uh, than you would think starting to play with it. Um, like I said, I ordered another gallon of uh, the Halloween mass latex and um, since I was ordering stuff from it I went ahead and ordered uh, Monster Cast which is a casting resin from Monster Makers and uh, I've used this before uh, on the Predator costume and uh, it works very well it actually sets faster in my opinion than the uh, smooth on resin uh, smooth on resin is my resin of choice um, but since I had an order in and they were combining shipping and stuff I went ahead and just got some resin from these guys so uh, this resin is just as good um, my preference is smooth on is where I order my silicones and stuff uh, so I might be a little biased but um, Monster Makers casting resin is, is good stuff so. alright that was a quick rundown of the immediate supplies. Now I haven't gone over paint because I hadn't decided if I want to dye the latex or I want to paint the latex. Uh, so that's something we'll get in uh, down the road in this project. Like I said, I'm, I'll be blogging this project. So uh, other supplies you might need. Um, you will need some ch cheap throwaway chip brushes. Uh, I recommend Harbor Freight or HarborFreight.com uh, they're chip brushes. You can buy a whole box for like $12.99. Okay. So that makes them very cheap because if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot or any big box store, um, they tend to up the price on them to like a dollar a piece and that's like, that's not good. That's very high. So um, for a prop maker, the Harbor Freight chip brushes are perfect. Um, so I recommend getting a box of those. Um, something else you might want to use. Um, Latex is not good to keep putting on your skin uh, because it does have uh, chemicals in it to dry it out and it will dry out your skin. So uh, I recommend uh, getting some gloves. Uh, my hands are allergic to actual latex and that dries them out really bad. So I use the neutral gloves. They're vinyl, they're not latex. And another reason I use vinyl, vinyl gloves is because uh, Latex gloves give off latex, and uh, if you're actually fooling with the silicone mold and you have enough latex powder or whatever remnants on those gloves, it will actually inhibit spots of that mold from curing. Okay, talking about silicone. And uh, so, yeah, it's a good, good little point uh, there to kind of look at. But uh, 
yeah guys so that's uh that's the update and uh, stay tuned because we're going to be going through this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle build and it should be pretty cool um, I haven't decided if I'm going to start on the, the top muscle suit yet or the shell um, I might start on the shell because of the more detailed part and it might take a little longer to finish but shell construction will probably start out with cardboard templates and layering on top of that so. uh, We'll uh, see you in the next video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, sorry I've been on hiatus. Uh, I've been working a whole lot, and just now I'm getting back to doing some fun stuff. So, uh, before I go out on this video, I would love to thank all the new subscribers. I uh, really appreciate you guys, and uh, emailing me questions and stuff. Like I said, if you have any questions, email 2 coast uh, sorry, 2 coast at live.com. That's the number two coast at live.com. Uh, if you email me there, I tend to answer a lot faster because those emails go to my uh, PDA and uh, I can answer your questions or, or help you out. Um, if it's redundant things, uh, you know, real simple questions, a lot of them are answered in my videos. Um, like I've gone over some supplies here, I'm going to start doing that a lot more thorough because that seems to be the bulk of my questions I get. Um, but if you have some questions that you really need to know or you're really concerned about making your own molds and whatnot, you know, just hit me up on Two Coast uh, at Live and I'll try to help you out. Um, back to the subscribers, uh, thanks so much, um, my old subscribers and my new subscribers. Uh, I'm going to try to get more videos up here lately, uh, especially getting closer and closer to Halloween. So, I say it's close, but it's close for me because I build a lot of stuff. Um, but, yeah, thanks to all the subscribers. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your enthusiasm, and uh, I really appreciate a, a lot of the friends I've made uh, through this YouTube channel uh, from trading and trading to just conversating and, and just good people around the United States that uh, you know are in a good healthy hobby of prop making and uh, it's really exciting so uh, any questions just email me and uh, I'll see you on the next video guys thank you